Pete and RC and DJ that you know we all talked about, uh, and, and Jameis and Taysom in the room. <clears throat> you know all those things that we talk about. Hey, you know, letting those guys know this is what I'm going to. This is what we're going to get to. This is our our plan for this week. And you know, um, it was good for us, especially in the last quarter and a half. I thought. You know, we got some life about us, and you know, we were putting pressure. You know, I felt like we were the aggressor in that moment. Dennis said you can't play like that all the time, but there, are there concepts within there that you can use? You know, in a whole game situation. Yeah, I mean, uh, that'll be something the coaches will look at for sure. You know, you know how that goes. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts with uh, you know players and you know. You know what? What? What do we need to put on his plate? What do we need to put on his plate? You know what do we? You know, you know what decisions do we make as a as a whole team, not just for us? You know what I'm saying? So I know that the coaches will talk about that stuff. Derek yeah. Foster was uh, pretty distraught after that play at the end of the game. But to, to say about like the teammates' response to that to see some of the guys kind of go up to him. Oh yeah, we all. Be, I mean, by side there. everybody's you know in the stands is you know mad at him, but it doesn't come down to one play. And so our job as brothers and as family, as teammates, is to go rally around him. I've been in that moment, you know, where you know you miss a throw, or you know, and you know you, th you throw a bad pick or something like that, and you feel like everybody hates you, you know. And uh, you know, our job as teammates is no matter what the situation is, good or bad, put your arm around them and keep keep them going, keep them pushing. And so to see our teammates react that way shows me that we have good group, you know, because I've seen in moments like that where everybody just starts pointing fingers at that one play, you know, or if a kicker misses one at the end, they just point at him, you know, and it's like there's, you know, 160 other plays that could have been changed, you know, you know, throughout whatever, you know, throughout the game. Like, no, I've never been a believer that you just point just because it happens in that moment. There's so many things that we could have done that we need to put him in that situation. Derek, what did you like about those those fades? I mean, when they don't work, they look like a low percentage throw on, on yeah. the last drive. Well, it got us a good, you know, touchdown to Mike. Um, you know, and then obviously they have a backup player in, and you know we have one of our best players. But you know, looking at things, you know, is there something else we could do there? Uh, is there a different thought? You know, different position, different route um, in that moment. Uh, you know, we had hit one before, so I felt confident in it again, uh, going back to it, uh, and, but it didn't work. Um, and when you talk about wearing your emotion on your sleeve, is, did it affect your performance at all? Have you, like, been no. impatient in throwing or anything? Or no? no, 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 yeah. no. Uh, when I wear it on my sleeve, I snap and clear, you know. Um, you know, that, that's just me. I'm, that part of it is just more as a leader, letting the guys see my, you know, demeanor. Hey, guys, we're good. We'll be in this thing at the end. You know, that, that kind of feeling. And what is just your review of, of your performance tonight and just, like, where you're at? We all got to be better, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, I got to be better. Uh, our guys got to be better. Um, coaches, you know, everybody. We're, you know, no matter what, like, you know, I thought we, as a whole team, did a great job of fighting back in the second half. Um, but we're all going to look at that tape and be like, we could all play better. Yeah, anyone can go tomorrow, stop the tape uh, on a bad performance or on a good performance and say, he should have done this or he should have done that. Like, you know, there's been games where I've thrown for, you know, 400 yards and I'm like, dude, I really didn't play that good. You know, and there's times where you go for 180 and you're like, I played really good. So there's, and vice versa. You know, there's so many things that go into that besides just on a Monday stopping the clicker and saying, you know, it was this guy or that guy, you know. You're a you had an offensive line today. I'm very proud of them. You know, that's a really good front. A lot of moving parts, new guys playing new spots. Um, and with everything that a lot, some guys are dealing with, you know, that's, that's a big. You know, that's a big ask for new guys to come in and play against that those blitzes, that that front, that scheme. Um, and I thought that they did an outstanding job. I really did. And I'm sure that there's a few plays, you know, that they want back or whatever, but I'm really proud of them. Well, I mean, he could, I mean, if he ever just stuck to that, you know, I think he's pretty good on defense, but if he ever just stuck to that, he'd be a really good fullback for sure. But, um, you know, he... We've seen his high school highlights at running back, and they're pretty impressive. <laughs> Derek, when, uh, when the crowd's obviously showing us frustration tonight with the booze, are you able to tune that out during the game? Do you, oh, yeah. Do you hear it at all? Oh, I've, man, I've played in Kansas City, and I was a Raider. You know, I've heard some pretty crazy things, you know, so I, I, can, I can block out things really easily. Uh, you know, I've, I've never played this game um, for man's approval. And I've never lived my life that way. And so 
I, I come off the sideline and I have the same routine whether everybody's cheering or everybody's mad, you know. Uh, if they're mad at me, if they're mad at the offense, they're mad at the defense, special teams, like for me, if I cared too much about that, this thing would have been 60 to 9. You know, like we just would have gave it to them. But our, our guys, we got too many professionals. You understand their frustration, uh, but at the same time, they're the same guys, same friends, same fans. They're going to cheer for you when you make a good play, you know. And so that, that to me, um, is it's never been really like a, like a problem uh, to me. And what would be your message to those frustrated fans, though? Oh, I think that we would join them in that, you know, because we're the ones out there doing it, you know. And, um, you know, we, we want to give them a great product. You know, we want to give them wins. When I came here, I just I said, like, I really, and I mean, I want to win for our city. You know, I really fell in love with how everyone's treated my wife and my kids and myself. Um, and the way that our team, you know, Miss Benson, everybody, they deserve wins. They deserve to see a great product. Um, you know, and and I thought in the second half they started, you know, that you know we were playing that that way coming back. They were in it. I, I mean, they deserve to feel that way. And so, um, you know, my message to them would be like, hopefully, you know, we get you know our stuff together uh, and get it together quick um, and start to get on a run so they can enjoy some more moments.